Hello, friends and lovers. Welcome back to Hades, a new beginning. Is that how I've been saying it? I think so. This is episode number five. If you missed any of the episodes, I highly recommend you check out the playlist in the description. We have started a new save on Hell Mode in Hades after playing the game for thousands of hours, just to kind of re-experience it one last time before the launch of Hades 2. Recap, here's where our mirror is at. Uh, we have shown every single run, every single second of gameplay so far. We just unlocked the fist. We're going to take that out. I was thinking Dionysus on the attack. I don't really know how that's going to feel without something like privileged status from the mirror, which will give you more damage when you have two status effects on the enemy, right? I'm worried it's not going to feel good. So does that mean I just want Artemis? But I'm thinking... I guess we could probably try it. It might be a bit miserable. I don't know. I just, for some reason, wanted to try uh, a touch of the, the Dionysus out here. Should be simple. Anyway, we're going to stick to the average pack since we are still kind of, Let's I guess, weak, you could call it. Nowhere near full power. We still don't have aspects unlocked, so we don't get dodge or anything from the fist here for now. Get to start with the hammer. Stars there are still a few fist. more scripted uh events that can happen here at the start of the run or maybe just one that i'm thinking of we do have the rod of fishing now though colossus knuckle while using your attacker special you are sturdy so you take 30 percent less damage while you do that your attack is more range and deals 10 percent more damage and draining cutter is just kind of eh, i feel kind of overall uh colossus versus long knuckle here hmm so uh that plus 10 percent damage well first of all it's very very little right and it wouldn't affect Things like the hangover damage from Dionysus anyway. It would only affect the base damage, like sort of the white damage you see that appears on the screen. So do I actually like Colossus Knuckle better? Um, I kind of like the utility of Long Knuckle anyway. I'm a glass cannon man myself to some degree, so like that extra range actually feels pretty good. All right, we got to get the fishing. We got the rod. We are still super prioritizing keys. And that way, hopefully we can unlock the fists in the run after this. We do not get uh, to do aspects right then and there, unless we wanted to take an intentional death. After you unlock the last weapon, whatever it may be, whatever order it may be, there still has to be one more run uh, until you can actually use the aspect. We do have quite a bit of Titan blood. Uh, quite a bit. I have some Titan blood. <laughs> the question is, what are we going to do first with it? What are we going to do first with it? I guess I shouldn't discuss it too much. Not right now. It's, we're a bit ahead of ourselves, right? A bit ahead of ourselves. Nice. More keys. Okay. We need... I think it's eight. Just like with the fist to unlock the rail. I think. Kind of unlucky that we didn't get a boon instead of we got uh, health offered so early on here, right? Gotta do what you gotta do, I guess, here. I've always said that the fists, the base fists here, actually feels surprisingly good. Like, we have no boons, but this feels a lot better than... Oh, oh, my controller? Oh, hold on. Crash? I think I nudged the wire in my controller. Or something. Okay, there we go. Um, The base fists feel a lot better than most of the other base weapons. What do I mean by base? I mean, like, no aspect, nothing. I feel like... The fists are actually quite strong without really any upgrades. Or at least the, stronger than all the other weapons without any upgrades. Possibly why a lot of new players tend to like the fist, which makes more sense. Now, once you get to later on, it always kind of felt like uh, the fists fall off a little bit. Not in terms of power so much, but just in terms of, like, variety, I guess you could say. What do you got, Dio? We're looking for the attack. Pretty simple. Oh. Okay. Well, that's a problem. I don't like the dash. It's bad. It just doesn't deal damage. We don't even have privilege status to make use out of that. So that's terrible. Uh, there is trippy shot. I don't love it. But it's probably our best bet for the moment. Hmm. Hmm. We don't get boiling blood anymore then. Don't need darkness right now that much. Need more keys than anything. Well, we got scammed. <laughs> It'll probably be okay. So if we end up taking like Artemis on the attack, it kind of feels bad to have trippy shot and have things like uh, and not being able to force enemies to take 50% more damage from boiling blood, right? Because trippy shot can't lodge. This kind of feels bad. Trippy shot can be okay on its own. Can be. We don't have any aspects to kind of help it out, and we don't. It's not likely we'll be able to get 
one or two of the dual boons that actually help it, namely Ice Wine or Scintillating Peace. Even, uh... Even Mirage Shot here, because we are about to get Poseidon, right? Mirage Shot would be tough to get. We do have the keepsakes for it. But we don't have increased rarity, and we're missing a lot of other things that would make it easier to get a lot of boons still. It's kind of lofty. I don't think we've seen a single duo boon yet. I haven't been pushing for him at all, really. Not that I've really had a lot of choice in the matters, but yeah. We have Poseidon's keepsakes, right? I can't easily check, can I? We must. Yeah, we do. We do, we do, we do. It's a Splash Dash event? I guess it's a Splash Dash event, huh? Oh, boy. Ocean's Bounty this early isn't horrible, I will say. Hmm. It's a Splash Dash event. With Long Knuckle, it's not so bad since we have some range. Sometimes it's kind of annoying to have Splash Dash and trying to attack with melee, like with the fists here, right? I'm kind of tempted by the bounty here, but that's an epic Splash Dash. Okay, we have to gift Aphrodite here. We lack her keepsake. All right. Now we're splashing and we're dashing. Okay, my friends. Ooh, actually, their duo boon would be great. Exclusive access, if that could happen. Again, we don't really have a lot of control over it yet. All epic boons? I'll take that. That's a fun one to get early on, right? Gift? I almost forgot. <laughs> we probably have to take her attack if it's here. Let's hope it's a decent rarity, if so. I don't like her call here. We're not really interested in filling in the special. Oh my god. Ugh, we're not very interested in filling in the special, that's for sure. I mean, we can. I don't like her call here because it's just not going to be super common that we fill the call to max. It also opens up a lot of other boons that we can get once you take a call boon from both Hermes and Poseidon and probably Dionysus. I can't remember. All those boons that are related specifically to call boons, they can only appear if you already have a call boon, of course. Could take life affirmation, I guess. I guess I, I, feel I guess I will. Um, taking the special would also open up uh, both duo boons, I think. No, wait, no, just the one, the palm one, Hello, sir. which wouldn't be terrible. Uh, we haven't gotten the shackle. We only have two nectars left, but I think I'm okay with that. Still, I think we're saving our last nectar mostly for Zeus now. Pretty sure we don't have Zeus's keepsake. I might not make great use of the shackle for a while, but until you level it up all the way, it doesn't feel great. Definitely no darkness. More money. Okay. I don't think we've seen the shop yet, right? Did we miss it? I think it just didn't get offered early enough. So don't know if you can get it at the end of Chamber 10 like this. Chamber 10, Chamber 11. Can't remember now where the cutoff is. There's some kind of cutoff. Where you can't see it, the shop too late. Oh, we still did get it. I think I would rather see the shop than go to Chaos right now. Since we got the dough. Still have not met Chaos. Definitely don't want Chaos's keepsake. <laughs> oh, here we go. You ready? You thinking we're going to get the duo? Guaranteed. Oh, there's a fish. First time. This is the first time for everything. First time. Just a knucklehead. Not even a perfect catch. The shame. All right, here we go. Duo boon. No duo boon. Uh, yeah, the attack is really bad. It's a super low percent, like literally the lowest possible percentage. And yeah, unless we have Zeus, we don't have Zeus's keepsake to kind of carry it along and try to force like a sea storm or something. Even if we did, again, getting a specific duo boon is very difficult so early in the save. Razor Shoals does some work in the meantime, though. We're about to get more money, so I will take the help. We already got Charon's keepsake. Okay. Uh, I definitely want Eurydice's keepsake. The acorn, right? Although Skelly's tooth is probably good enough. Sometimes you want them both. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, man. I guess we're going to palm the dash here for free. I could have gone to the shop. God's I think palming the dash is 
probably the best we can do. I get, I'm really used to ignoring fish, so I might miss some. I might miss some. Let me know in the comments. But you have to say the code word, which is fishy, wishy, washy, wish, wish, wish. But only if I miss a fish. Okay. No. So we don't have an attack boon. We don't have a special boon. But maybe this just strengthens my argument. Like, the fists are still kind of weirdly good. The fists were the last weapon added, weirdly. Believe it or not. Even though, like, the rail is kind of built up. As the pen penultimate... Wait, no. Penultimate means second to last. The ultimate weapon, I guess it would be. Right? Uh, the fists were added way later. The rail was actually added quite early on. It might have been just like the very first update in early access, if I remember correctly. I think it might have been the same update where they added Dionysus, but I'm not really sure. Can't remember that far back. But yeah, the rail was actually quite early on. So he had four weapons at the start. Became five pretty quickly. Yeah, look at that, how much damage the dash is dealing here. And then we had to wait a really long time for the fists to come about. And maybe they just learned some things about the fists. Uh, I mean, they learned some things about weapons, I should say. And they kind of managed to make something that a lot of people really enjoy with the fists here now. Hmm. I am considering selling Trippy Shot for all the reasons already discussed. Ah, uh, but I guess not. Um, We could start leveling the Shackle, but I will still... Uh, fill in the attack boon if we get a chance. More Poseidon boons. Won't bother asking how come all my you could. Here. You could. And pray that you get that duo boon I've been talking about. There's also Athena's attack, Aphrodite's attack, Artemis's attack. They're all fine. They're all fine. But for some reason I'm finding the thought boring. Give me more Poseidon. Maybe it's like a semi-dash only situation we got going on here. If we don't get the dual boom, we can settle for breaking wave. Hmm, that's about it. I mean, there's like wave pounding, but breaking wave is the one you really want. There's wave pounding, there's the... Ooh, I always forget the name of this one. Jams? What's the name of it? It's like more, uh... Wall damage or some jazz. Oh my god, my mind is melting. I'm a cheese going through a grater. Hmm. Where? Jammies, lovely. Turn those into keys, probably. You're ready to see. I only got one nectar. I actually can't gift it to her. I'm not in like the biggest rush anyway. Ah, we can do something a little cheesy here. A little cheesy, a little parmesan -y. So, we don't love all these boons. I mean, the dash and therefore Razor Trolls are kind of doing something. We could gamble to make them better. We could take the palms. Someone there? But that's not that great. You're always welcome. We're going big. We're going to take Refreshing Nectar. to we'll empower the next three boons that we get. Thanks so, much. so, we're wearing Poseidon's Keepsake, so in theory... It should increase the odds of seeing that duo boom between Poseidon and Dionysus quite a quite a lot. Also, it's very very likely we see Hermes soon, uh, and will be one of the the three buffs. And getting buffed Hermes boons is nice. Hermes boons actually are general are lower rarity when you pick them up. I don't know the actual numbers, but in general, Hermes boons will not be of a high rarity, not as high as uh, all the other gods. Hermes acts more like a ham more like the hammer than like the other gods boons, honestly. Where you only get two per run unless uh he's in sticks, basically. And there's a lot of uh Yeah. There's a lot of like cutoffs for like when Hermes can appear, when Hermes can't appear, etc. We have money. Hermes cannot appear. In Tartarus on a door, very particular, I know. In Tartarus on a door, unless you like push back 
the biome exit, which probably sounds very confusing. Oh, I don't want Ares. Okay, so I guess we skip. We'll take that. We have life affirmation. You can push back the exit in Tartarus by taking a Chaos Gate. Oop, what? What's that? By taking a Chaos Gate or an Airbus Gate right before the last chamber in Tartarus. Thus pushing it back by one. Basically, there's like a specific chamber number where Hermes is allowed to appear as a reward on a door. And I'm guessing that number is like 12 or 13. So by pushing back that exit, it makes it possible. However, you can still see Hermes in the, sh I believe, both shops in Tartarus, possibly. If I remember right. Doo -doo, ba -ba -da -do. Are we ready? I'm doing the Duo Boon dance. The Duo Boon dance. The Duo Boon dance. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I guess we are taking Ocean's Bounty now. I don't love it. I'm not in love with it. Aye. Maybe Afro will give us the attack now. We do still have Nectar for it, at least, so it hopefully will be a stronger attack. She does have the highest attack percentage, at least, too. Some people ask, like, is Artemis or Aphrodite better? I mean, it's kind of hard to fully compare with the crit thing. They're pretty damn close to equal. But I think what pushes Artemis over the edge is the fact that Artemis often has a better duo boons uh, across all the gods, a little bit better. In the name of Hades. And B, her follow-up boons, namely Hunter's Mark, Pressure Points, Support, Fire, all those are much better than pretty much all of Aphrodite's tier two boons, the follow-ups, right? Which are not good. They're usually about like the weak effect and stuff. Hello? Hmm. That's cheap, so we buy it. Although I am now below 150. I was kind of planning to just take the max health here anyway. I don't think we heard any fishies. I don't think we did. Alright, so our can our attack actually uh, overtake how much damage Tidal Dash is doing now, you think? Let's see. Well, we have one Ambrosia left. Not Ambrosia, Nectar left. Refreshing Nectar. Can't remember when we unlock uh, Extreme Measures, honestly. I know the fourth Extreme Measures comes much later than the rest. We still haven't seen Hermes. I was really hoping the Nectar would help us with that more than anything. Because if we could get, like, uh, plus two or three dashes from Hermes, that would be Chef's Kiss. Thought I picked up more Crippy Shots than that. I don't mind exclusive access as a dual boon. The Aphrodite Poseidon one where the palms are, you get double palms. That one, it just never feels early enough. Like exclusive access is already a boon where it's hard to, for it to feel early enough. Maybe it's just that it feels more fun. Ah. Same problem with life affirmation, right? We actually did get it quite early here, but a lot of times it just never feels early. Enough. And I say feel because, you know, it's it's all in our heads at the end of the day. You just don't really know how much value you're going to get out of it. Dude, get out of here, dude. Hey, yeah, like why are you over there? Hey, whoa. Alright. Alright, not too bad. The title dash was still doing the vast, vast... Well, actually, hold on. I just realized it's separating dash strike and attack and the damage meter. Maybe it always... Ha it certainly has always been. Yeah, I'm always a little... Ever since we got the DPS meter installed, this is a mod, by the way, if you don't know. It's called Zhao, Zhao Days DPS mod for Hades. You can Google it. J-O-W-D-A-Y. Um, 
whenever uh, ever since I've had the DPS meter assault, I've been a little uh, underwhelmed by Razor Shoals, which is the rupture there, six percent. I've kind of realized. I think I might have overvalued it for a while. I guess as a singular boon, it's okay, but I don't know. I'm not super impressed. I guess is what I'm saying. Let's see. So Poseidon's keepsake is all used up. Don't really want most of the rest of that stuff, but I kind of just want to level Charon's keepsake here. So we're going to throw it on. Does this mean I want to buy a random boost here? Does this mean I want to buy the darkness since, yeah, you know, we got 28 because of uh, Ocean's Bounty? We will need more eventually. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to buy the twist there. It's a bit too random. Thank you. Might give you like a fishing lure or whatever the hell. No dice. Hey, it's a fish. Fishy, wishy. What did I say? There. Sharp. I caught a call. Still no perfect catch. Getting old out here. Getting old. We need a lot more keys. Sign of the ages. I've probably told this story before, but it's been a while. All I got is my old stories. You kind of run out of stories eventually, you know? Uh, way back, pandemic times, of course, way back. I mean, actually, it kind of was, like, four years ago. Three to four years ago, I guess you could say, right? Um, Animal Crossing came out for the Switch, and it was a big hit during those times, right? Everyone was playing Animal Crossing, including my wife and I, of course, as well. We, ho we hopped on board the train. We were having fun with it. And at that point in time, Hades... I was already playing Hades to some degree or another. And uh, I just couldn't help but feel like I was so terribly bad at the fishing in Animal Crossing. Like, horrible. It was the worst. Like, I couldn't catch fish. Like, not, e like, not even a little bit. And I was like, what is going on here? And then I, I kind of just... I just kind of resolved, like, damn, Animal Crossing goes hardcore in the fishing. And just kind of left it at that. But then... I don't really remember, but I was using the Switch undocked at one point. I think we brought it somewhere or something. I was like, I guess I'll try to catch this fish. And I was using it in handheld mode. And suddenly it's like, oh, it's incredibly easy now to fish. And it turned out that slight amount of lag, the controller input, because I was using, you know, like the wireless Joy-Cons to play, it was enough to throw off like this timing based mini game, right? And so I guess... Moral of the story, if you think you're struggling with uh, something like that in the Hades with the fishing or whatever, uh, honestly, just try plugging the controller in or something if you can. Boom. World's problem solves. Kinetic launcher? Mm, doesn't really suit us. Velocity knuckles back or heavy knuckle? So heavy knuckle's pretty bad. It's bad in the sense that it doesn't actually really do anything. It doesn't make anything better. I guess you could say. It's it's just a side grade at best, uh, I, I suppose. <sighs> Maybe we should take it just for the science, because Kinetic Launcher is not going to be helpful. Colossus Knuckle, it does help you take less damage. I don't know. I've definitely, like, done it before, and you just don't really feel the effects of taking a hammer. You should be able to feel the effects of a hammer. I will say you don't really feel Colossus Knuckle either, but you know it's there Let's at least. Goes. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to take it. Seems like a waste of time. A W A T. It's like a palm. See if we can hit the attack. We'll settle in the dash if we have to. Again. I mean, 30% less D sounds pretty good right about now. We still have a nectar, and we still have not seen Hermes. Mm 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 mm. I think I used that fishing example to talk about uh, why some people might think they suck at a game, but they don't. There's just like a lot of factors to take into place. You see it on like the Hades subreddit all the time. Like, do I suck at this game? Am I bad at this game? I can't beat the game. I'm stuck at I'm stuck at this point. I'm stuck at that point. All those like all like those posts are, are quite quite common. But there's there's just like so many factors. I assure you. You can do it. You can do it. Hades is a reasonable game. 
I wish I could gift you, my friend Zeus. You can do it, but it's also a game that requires you to just play quite a bit. You know what I mean? Thank you, mate. Hmm, 14%. Sure. I guess I'm gonna buy Zeus and hope that we run into him again, basically. Oh yeah, we like Zeus's call anyway, of course. Very strong. We're gonna take Aphrodite because I don't want to put Demeter in the pool, basically. Plus, there's really no boons I want from her. You bested the champ. So then... I see you. There's a, there's a lot of grind behind Hades at the end of the day. There's a lot of meta stuff, you know. And then on top of having to learn the enemy attack patterns, right? And in a roguelike... Bosses are very hard to learn. It's not like, for instance, a Souls game or really any game where you spawn, you know, like right near the boss, right next to the boss, you know, within a couple minutes of the boss, typically, right? It might take you 30, 40, an hour to get back to the one boss that killed you last time, right? How do you practice a boss like that? You're bound to just get kind of stunned the first time you're there, you know? It ain't easy. Dash still doing quite a bit. Well fought, Asterius. Okay. Is there anything we really want here? Oh, you know what would be great? The duel between do a boom between her and Zeus, smoldering air? That would have been nice. No dice though. I don't think I want to take the special still. <laughs> dying a lament different league, dying a lament different league. Yeah. Kinda doesn't matter much. I think Dying Lament's actually kind of okay, weirdly. I don't know, I might overvalue it. I recognize I might overvalue things. I might undervalue some things. Don't don't even get me started about side hustle. Don't even get me started. Oh boy, 66 health. We're getting bonked, right? Earning a lot of darkness. Oh, we need the jams though. For sure. It feels like we're earning a lot of darkness. Go, Ocean's Bounty. We need lots of gems. It's interesting that in sticks you can't get meta stuff. It's all just for the run. Hmm. I wonder why they made that decision to make the doors as equally as peeling, because otherwise you're just going to... Yeah, I guess if there was meta stuff on the doors and sticks, a lot of players are just going to skip the meta stuff that they can. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like that's probably a big reason as to why. It's in these moments that I wish there was meta stuff in there. Okay. Okay, honey. Oh my god, there's more. Whoa, whoa. Kind of nuts that like the dash is like one boon with a palm in it, I guess. But it's dealing as much damage as it is. Why are there so many enemies? <laughs> Holy Moses. It's not even the end yet. I feel like I got to check for a well here. Nothing, huh? Yeah, we're struggling all of a sudden, huh? Got a well, but I don't know, Bow Boys, no Athena. It's not looking good. Okay, try to stagger them. Once you get the armor off, then you can kind of stay with them. Do 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 do. Well, bottom, buddy.
Uh, yeah, it's getting kind of brutal out here. Runs without Athena kind of thing right now. That's how I'm feeling. A lot of doables we could have gotten here, actually. It didn't happen. Okay. Are we going to be okay? We managed to save ourselves here. It was definitely slow going. I can't seem to hit that stupid thing. Dude, relax. Chill. Oh, golly. Oh. That'll be nice. Thank you very much. No cast damage, no movement. We're actually very low on money now. I guess we're going to take the max health. We might lose a death defiance to the heroes here, I can see. I can foresee. Given the speed at which our enemies were dying there. <laughs> Time for the main event. We're well equipped to deal with We're well equipped. Speak like Hang out no there for a sec. Uh-oh. We still haven't seen armies. Pretty sure he wasn't offered either. I don't think it was like I skipped them. Oh, come on, bull. Best of fog. Oh, shit. I didn't see where Theseus was. Let him come back. Oh, I didn't think that would hit me. Something struck my body. So now when you're near Theseus, he'll most likely do his melee spin move on you. Most likely. You're better off just double dashing right through him than trying to dash away. Which might be, like, kind of easier said than done, I'll admit. Yeah, like, he got stuck on a wall there, which is a bit scary. Slowly dash around. Oh! That was weird because he decided to dash like the wrong way kind of there, right? Whoa! Oh, all right. It was tough. It was tough. It was very slow, right? Who knows? Maybe the Hades will take us down. Thank you, Shade. Maybe the Hades is going to do us. Uh, let's check this. We take the hell. Although we have six chambers in Hydrolite. Um, how much do we need it? I'm going to do it. We're going to swap over to Skelly's, of course. Don't think Skelly's Tooth is going to complete here. Six is a good place to level up Keepsakes because you complete a lot of chambers, right? So Skelly's Tooth should get pretty high pretty quickly. So eventually, so hopefully, we're hoping to not have to take it to Hades very often. But I think it's safe to say, like, right now, it's feeling a bit tough. Don't really got the D for really anything here. Smoldering air, jolted, those are all good. I shall take those, please, and thank you. One of the big things about hell mode here is that the... One of the really annoying things about hell mode is the fact that, you know, certain... I mean, there's really only one thing about hell mode, which is that certain packs punishment are locked in. And one of those is calisthenics program, which increases the health of all enemies by 15%, including the bosses. That's like one of the worst packs in the game. And you typically don't take that on the pack, even like if you're attempting, like, I don't think I take it even at 50 heat, pretty much. Eventually, when you start, start trying to put a bunch of heat onto the pack, 
You have to balance everything around a tight deadline. So you're pro I, it, I've always found it to be easier to have a lot of tight deadline on and a lot of and then minimize the things that make enemies take longer to kill or spawns more enemies basically. And calisthenics program is just like really bad. It was all, it all, I mean, the fact that it increases the boss health too is just brutal, really. Bosses are dangerous enough as is, you know? Okay, best thing from here. Did get poison there. Alright, buddy, can you, like, stop putting your poison crap everywhere? Did we give Zeus? We never gifted Zeus. This is the, yeah, this is only the second time. Lord Zeus. We're getting Zeus this run. First time was in a shop. There we go. I think we got everyone but Demeter and Ares, which is probably fine. Probably call that close enough. Ah, uh, scintillating feast. I think that's actually okay here. I'm not upset about it. I'm not expecting it to top the charts or anything, but I don't think that's too bad. Lots of help. That's our first and only chance to see Hermes. What kind of luck is that? What happened, Hermes? What did I do to you? What have you done? Gotta throw out these trippy shots more often now. Ow, that hurt. Okay. I see scintillating feast on the meter on the meter already. Works pretty well against little enemies, not so much against bosses. Little enemies will get kind of stunned by the, the festive fog and end up sitting in it, you know? It's gonna be a bit harder to make Papa sit there. It's doing more D than a lot of other stuff, though, I'll admit. Ah, shoot. Nut. Oh. Okay, my friend. Come on, big rat. Stay right there or something. Oh, no, no, no. Got it. Ah, oh, no. This is bad. Getting bonked left and right here. Is that it? Oh, that was tough. God. Definitely feeling it now. We're definitely lacking damage. Wow, scintillating fees actually did the most in that little chamber. <laughs> Alright, Hermes. I don't know. Save us somehow. Seems like the rat just kind of sat there, you know? It's no use. Since we could only apply Jolted by the call, there's no way that was going to be better, I think. If we had any other way to apply, it'd be a different story. All right, come on. There might be a boon worth selling here. Do I still need uh, definitely not those. I guess life affirmation you could sell, because I don't... Uh, I think there might have been actually a max health for sale that we might have to take. I'm not sure. No way. We get... Dionysus. I don't think there's really anything from Dionysus that could help us right now. You get the feeling <sighs> okay. Anyway, here. Ugh. <laughs> I guess quick favor. It's very, very little. Flurry cast. Uh, it's a boon that I like, but it, it's not good, really. Especially at 20%. Maybe if it was like epic, I'd consider taking it. But not in this instance. No fishes, right? Didn't hear anything. I think we got it, but it's going to be a tough battle. So strap in, strap on, strap it off. You know the deal. I don't think it's going to be easy. This should be our just third win, right? Third or fourth, if we win. I don't see any fishies. This cold wet. This cold. Try to see if we can kind of get him to stick around up here. Okay. <laughs> I 
Ow. All right, but maybe if you didn't dash for a, a moment. Whoa, I got a little lucky there. You brought this on yourself. Ah. I wasn't using the call. I was trying to like kind of hold it. Luckily, we have like an ins pretty insane amount of health for a run this early on. God, like we just don't hurt anything. Damn. Ah. Oh. Okay. Oh god, that stung. <laughs> oh boy. focused i'm focused i'm in there for your own i think we're okay but my god I shall not fall to you again. it is arduous remember when i was talking up the fist earlier i lied ow ow papa God, you're killing me. Okay, yeah, just do that. Okay, just lay it down now. He usually... Uh-oh. -uh. Ignore my words. I don't even know what I was saying. That's a lie. Pots. Does he not usually summon pots? Am I only, does he only do that in extreme measures four? Am I suddenly not remembering? Oh, he's dead. <laughs> that was tough. That was very challenging, I gotta say. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. In hindsight, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I could have done significantly differently. Maybe I should have actually tried Heavy Knuckle. I don't know. Maybe Colossus Knuckle saved us a lot of damage, you know? And a big shopping trip, too. Scintillating Feast kind of pulled a little bit of the weight, but yeah, it was far from marvelous. Rupture, very disappointing. Call is what it is. Yeah, scintillating piece, yeah, yeah. Still, like, the dash and the attack was just pretty much doing it all. You know it's probably not good. I like, like, tidal dash is a very strong boon, but still, if it's your second most damage dealt, it's probably not a good sign in a fight like that. <laughs> I'm trying to think, was there any choices we could have made differently, but I don't know. I don't think so, really. Let's go, baby. Any fish? Any fish, 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 fish? Does the sun not come up? Every time? So bright. Ugh. Okay. I don't remember it being so blue. Usually. 
Come on. There's gotta be a fish. I'm here. It's gotta be. Welcome back, my son. I'm busy. I made it, mother. No way, this game this out of a fish. Mom. So good to see you again, Zagreus. Since last you left, I couldn't help but think the worst about what happened after I had left. Or soon before. You mentioned Nyx. You don't suppose that she and Hades wanted me out of the way? I just don't think that can be. Though let me ask you, how long did you know Father? And Nyx for that matter. Did they seem trustworthy? Nyx like, get rid of her. Yes. I knew them long enough to have decided yes, that they were trustworthy. As much as anyone I've ever met. But I also know never to be trusting to a fault. I have to consider the possibility I was deceived. I'm pretty sure like the Greek myths, it is purely all, every, every single thing is a deception. <laughs> Especially since neither of them is being forthcoming with me even now, right? And yet I have this feeling something else is going on, mother. The way that father speaks of you, the way Nick speaks of you, I think they care for you. <laughs> well, they have a funny way of showing it, I think. Your father, so you have to get through him each time you visit me? I do. Mother, what if what if father thinks that he's protecting you? Have you considered that? Protecting me? Why, Zacharias, what do you mean by that? As you can see, I can fend for myself. Well, uh, you're from Olympus, aren't you? But the gods, none of them seem to know you're here. So, what? How would you know something like that, Zagreus? Ah, oh, curse the fates! They're leaving me again. It's very convenient that she's just like I right outside that long. exit where we fight Poopa, right? Very uh, convenient. She's like twenty yards away. <laughs> or maybe like there's there's like a. Hold that thought, mother. Zagreus is actually trekking for miles, it turns out, you know? He always has something to say. Is this the codex, finally? Oh my god, it's about time, dude. I'm grateful. Press question mark? I was kind of curious to... I was kind of curious about the... Codex here. Oh, you can't look at their boons still, huh? Learn more by accepting boons from Zeus. So you have to get all their boons to actually look at it? Wait, really? That kind of sucks for new players if they want to, like, look at stuff. I mean, I guess I kind of understand. Hmm. A little surprised by that. You are not I'm going to have to talk to them, but I'm going to have to skip it over it. Not. Yeah, we're supposed to I get a lot of dialogue. Fish. They want me to turn in my fishies. This stuff's all the same. Oh, to the Codex Index. Oh, I see. It's 50 jams. The head chef is going to want this fish. All right, turn it in, I suppose. Here's the catch of the day. Or night. Two nectars, twenty jams. Done deal. Zagreus. Come on, Meg. Come on, Meg. I will not let that happen. Come on, sweetheart. Oh, turn it in for gems. Ooh, kind of tempting. It does. It does like totally strip us though. So, yeah, we're trying to get like a ton of keys. So five keys for three hundred darkness is sort of the question here, basically. Ah, you do need a lot of Give that stuff. Special. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, do need a lot of it. I can get 10 more keys right now, which unlocks the next part of the mirror. You're trying to fleece right? Me here. And then we also... These gemstones. Get to... Of course, uh, I'm kind of skipping out on some con contractor stuff. I guess we saw... Oh, have we? Oh, did we get something? Prophecy fulfilled. Get a little bit of gems from that. That's nice. I'm getting some oh, that's for getting the codex, I guess, huh? So, who do they want me to talk to? Oh, yeah, I forgot about the benefits package thing, to be honest. But there was one for just talking to people. Oh, we have to unlock that. And we Oh, if we unlock the rail, we get more gems. You just gotta meet people, yeah. Okay, let me check. How much does the rail cost? I think it's eight still. Tis! Yo! This one. Rail, the rail. It also has the dark thirst thing. To help us earn more darkness. Okay. Thank God we got Zeus's keepsake, because let me tell you, that's how we're running that that bitch right there. 
Nice Give me the gems from that. Legendary weapons there. Lovely. That way we can spend gems somewhere else, probably. Uh, let's go ahead and lock the next part of the mirror as well. Thick skin or deep pockets here. God, you need 20 for the next? That's a lot. That's a lot. That's when, you're, that's when you start getting the good stuff, honestly. We're probably just not going to get another Death Defiance for a very, very, very long time. If ever. And we've already discussed, like, with, this isn't necessary to rank up. Because you still only get two health because of lasting consequences. Uh, let's see. So it goes up 35. And then they both cost 40, huh? That's five health per rank, actually. Oh, it says it right there now after I've done it. Yeah, whatever. Nix's strength. Good enough. Good enough. Kind of curious here. So now we have 108 gems. So we could turn all those into keys as well. But I don't think we actually want to rush into that yet. I should check in with the house contractor. It's probably a good idea to get some stuff from here. Namely, urns of wealth. On my authority, I'd like to make to runs a lot company. easier because we'll earn a lot more money from these, basically. Okay, you got the second one here, too. Greater wealth, even. Greater wealth. I don't think we need that codex. There are the fountain rooms. Oh, right. And then, of course, fountains heal more, too. 60, 78. Mm. Fountain rooms are nice, but yeah. I guess we'll do the greater wealth and we'll do the troves, too. You might have to do some of these before you see more stuff from this dude, anyway. Oh, there's a... I didn't realize there was three ranks. Hmm. Yeah, but troves can help us earn some meta stuff, too. Maybe I should have gotten that even earlier. Kind of don't really remember. All right, I think we can finally call it a date. It was good. It was a tough run. It was challenging, but we got a lot of stuff done here. We got a lot of keys, basically, right? So there we go. Everything works out. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're enjoying this series. Let me know in the comments. You know the deal. Like, comment, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next video.